how to add or subtract mixed numbers with different denominators. If you don't know how to find the least common denominator, what I would like for you to do is review that. So you can do so by clicking on this red button here. You need to know what an integer is. So here are some examples. So this is a set of numbers and in this set of numbers it contains the integers. Integers are numbers such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so the list goes on. That's what those dots mean. And then it also includes the negatives. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, all the way until infinity. So if you follow this pattern of numbers, those are integers. You need to know what a proper fraction is. A proper fraction is a fraction such that the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So the numerator is smaller, the denominator is bigger. Here's an example. 7 over 8 is a proper fraction because 7 is the numerator and it's smaller than the denominator. You also need to know what is a mixed number. Here's an example. A mixed number is made up of two parts. An integer, shown by the negative one here, and a proper fraction, which is the 7 eighths. You also need to know what a fraction looks like if it's a whole number. Here's an example. 5 over 5, such that the numerator and denominator, when they're equal, we know is going to be equal to 1. So they have the same value. So if you see a fraction such as this, it has the value of 1. So let's look at a problem. Here it says add 2 and 7 eighths plus 6 and 2 thirds. So let's do that. I'm going to find my least common denominator for 8 and 3. So I'm going to multiply this by 3 and this one by 3, this by 8, and this by 8. And if you're not sure how I got these numbers, watch the video with the link at the beginning of this video. And then I'm going to rewrite this and get 2 and 21 over 24 plus 6 and 16 over 24. And what I'm going to do now is I can combine my 2 and 6 and I get 8. And I can combine my fractions over the same denominator, so I would get 21 plus 16. And then when I simplify that, I get 8 and 37 over 24. Now, the only problem with this is that 8 and 37 24 is not a mixed number because although it has an integer, my fraction is not proper. So I have to rewrite this fraction as a proper fraction. So let's do that. So here's what I would do. I'm going to split this fraction up into two fractions. And I'm going to make it such that one of the fractions is really a whole number. So I'm going to split it up as 24 plus 13 over 24. So 24 plus 13 is 37. So I'm not changing it. I'm just rewriting it. And once I do that, I now have a fraction 24 over 24 plus 13 over 24. And I can actually put a little plus sign here so I don't get confused. Because essentially we're just adding all these numbers together. So I can see here 24 over 24, that's just a whole number. So that's actually 8 plus 1 plus 13 over 24. And 8 plus 1 is 9 plus 13 over 24. And when I combine these two, it's just 9 and 13 24 fourths. And then I'm finished. Because this is an integer and this is a proper fraction, therefore it's a mixed number. Let's look at another problem. Here it says to subtract 9 and 1 thirds minus 6 and 3 quarters. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the least common denominator. So for 3 and 4 I know it's 12. So I'm going to multiply this one by 4, this one by 3. And I'm going to rewrite it in the next step as 9 and 4 twelfths minus 6 and 9 twelfths. Now if I subtract this, I'm going to get 9 minus 6 is 3. And if I subtract or combine the fractions, I get 4 minus 9 over 12. And when I simplify that, I get 3 and negative 5 over 12. So I don't want to leave this fraction here as a negative, so I'm going to rewrite it. And here's what I would do. So up here, I'm going to complete it. 3 and negative 5 over 12. So I'm going to rewrite my 3 as 2 plus 1 and then plus my fraction which is negative 5 over 12. And the reason why I split the 3 up as 2 plus 1 is because I can rewrite a whole number as a fraction. In this case I'm going to rewrite it as 12 over 12. So 1 and 12 over 12 are equivalent. They're the same value. 
and then I rewrite the fraction. And now that I have 12 over 12, I can actually combine that with this fraction. So I'm going to get 2 plus 12 minus 5 over 12, which is 2 plus 7 over 12. And 2 plus 7 over 12, well, that's just 2 and 7 twelfths. So that's my final answer because I have an integer and a proper fraction, and that's a mixed number. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.